Now yesterday evening I got inundated with phone calls with people asking for fish. Uh, mainly mackerel, bass and some pollock. It totaled, I needed a couple of pollock, I needed three bass, three different people wanted a bass and I had mackerel orders totaling up to 200. Now that's 200 mackerel not orders. So I came down I thought I should be able to do the bass maybe if they're feeding. I should be able to get the pollock with a bit of luck. Mackerel, I don't know about that. 200 mackerel, it's a lot of mackerel. Anyway, let's go out and find out if we can actually fulfill that order. Biggest order of the year, I think. For one day, anyway. You might, you might better not see. It's really early to come out. Three, I've got big box today. We need um, basically we need a lot of mac, 200 mac. Whether we'll get them, something else. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Floats because we also need a few bass. Now that's a nice one. One lobster, nice big one. Now, how many of you out there have ever caught a golf ball in your crab pot? Must have been down there, got flicked up and landed in the pot, hole in one. <laughs> a golf ball. Never had a golf ball in the pot before. Best catch of the day. <laughs> right, let me get this done quickly because I can't mess around. Just some small crab as well. You never know, we might get shanker today. Me and the pots have been out a long time. Um, oh, don't tell me the wires have gone. I know, I've got it. Just came off.
take the boot with it, even though they're really heavy. Well, it's nothing in the back one. I had a lot of bait in these, I know that. I left them. But, we've still got one lobster. I think that might be size even. I'll check it after. Bait it and get all get clear of here. situation would be to catch all the mackerel I need and then bass fish after and catch all the bass I need or catch some bass. that hit it, not the bottom. Yeah, it's the fish, not the bottom. I'll tell you that much.
think. Yeah. Decent size one as well. Keep that as up to the table. Macro. We're closing in on the number we need. Or at least we need today. I mean, I can get away with a, about 150 a day and do 50 tomorrow. Bad size one, that's for sure. I don't think it's hooked very well though, that's my only concern. I see the lure hanging out quite far, you know, reduce the drag a bit. Caught in the net, but I mean it's a big enough bass. It's still forty sort of six or something like that. It's actually quite well hooked, considering. There we go. It's not a bad one. I'll give you a size check actually. Got my size meter <laughs> here. This one is yeah, 47, uh, one centimeter out. It's still an okay bass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a mackerel? Is that a pollock? That's a pollock. Big pollock. Take a big pollock. So, how did we get on? Well, we got one mackerel, but this is my mackerel. What number is this mackerel? This mackerel is 201. The one, because it's my mackerel. And it's a big mackerel. In fact, it's my biggest mackerel I've had all year. That is an absolute giant mackerel. You can see on my box that it's a pretty big mackerel. So, we had our lobster. We have 90 mackerel in there. And, we have three bass that we needed, a couple of pollock that we needed, and another 110 mackerel in there. So 110, 90, plus one, 201. So we managed it. How the heck we managed it, I don't know. We fulfilled tomorrow's order as well, pretty much, so I'm pleased at that. 
so I can concentrate on doing pots tomorrow, maybe um, do a bit of bass fishing or something, we'll see. So anyway, there you go.